Adis mame ya mwakwa bebi yomba adom TV kasiye. E so na ye toaswa wa ipo mdi mwense mu. E ne enzu hui mwa beto jache so mamfwa. Wobe nya mwja mroso ebe do so pa. Na ninyi nada eji na uhiya. Sa di esi amane homene so. E wos kasi mu efa. Jume di ya oswa fwa oshe apomode hon sem ene aswe ya oshe apomode e hon sem so e pa hon tuma e wa North Wiji. Wo chuma e ye Danish Healthcare fo ene de e mwa e bre gana. Wo ba be shwe se wa na we nya e sitri ya diye nube timi afa e kwen biso na we timi abwa o mwa asa wan ya diye. E ye jume kwa oshe e sitri ya diye hon sem so uwi asya fane inada e de atuja se. Sa wusha gana sa diye beye infi e du ni ni gane dre diye e kwa shono. E ni pa wade wane ni e bwa wususu se. Wo ni ya sitri ya diye no, wandodoa eye opepe bako ene nechu ipo edu ya sami yunua, esese gana eshe nu waka hon asem. Ne jume de ya si, osafo she apumode hon sem, ede ensem bise ne tuja. The Federation estimates that there are 1,200 children with diabetes in Ghana at the moment. These children does need access to quality care and safeguard insulin to have a good quality of life. In recognition of the impact of non-communicable diseases on public health, the Minister of Health has actually started initiating activities going on to tackle diabetes, including diabetes in children. The non-communicable diseases policy that has been developed is currently with cabinet. It prioritizes health promotion and early detection and health system strengthening as well as support to children with diabetes. Mary, if we come here and now we're done, Ghana as we are share a promoting one same so we are one non-communicable disease program. No, that one no. Now we're not so ekasa which made you know as say. The one who is ultimately going to benefit, and we need to hold people accountable, and that's where the Ghana Health Service MOH comes in how best our facilities will be positioned to provide the maximum service for the clients. We talked about these 21 um, centers across the country. Are we going to ensure that they are centers of excellence such that they can actually retrain and task shift to moral levels of care? And if there's a client in the community, can they, let's say, seek service from the nearest center, health center, because that person has been trained in foot care or in complications of diabetes, and when their time, the time to see the specialist is not up, can they be given some service at the nearest center? So those are nitty gritties that the MOH and the Ghana Health Service needs to streamline with the project. And ultimately for us, it's improvement in care for our patients, and especially the children where this is involved. So our stake is huge, but it's critical that moving forward from the MOU, we ensure that things are implementable.